like unto thee, O God. Among the gods who is like unto thee, glorious in holiness, fearful in praises, doing wonders. Hallelujah. It's 6 p.m. West African time, 17 hours GMT. It's time for church on the waves. And I'm no longer a slave to fear. Will you call someone, inform someone, remind someone, alert someone, copy the link, share it on all your social media platforms, let someone know that that life impacting, that life transforming, that life changing broadcast titled Church on the Waves is on. It's always powerful. It's always awesome on this platform. And I believe God will do you good today in the name of Jesus Christ. No Longer Sleeps is the title of this song by Bethel Music. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We are no longer slaves to fear because God is by our side. God is with us. Remember, we are looking at the wonders of his presence. One of the things the wonders of his presence does is that it dispels fear out of your life. It casts out fear out of your life. David said, the Lord is with me. The Lord is my rock and my fortress. Why should I fear what man will do unto me? Hallelujah. We are no longer slaves to fear. We are children of God. God is with us. He said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. He said, Lord, I'm with you, even to the end of the age. That is our confidence. In fact, some people call it Godfidence. That is our confidence and our Godfidence. That God is with us. We have no reasons to fear. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Yes, no longer slaves to fear. We are children of God. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Can we take this song for about a minute or so? Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Can we just say a word of prayer as we start this broadcast today? Heavenly Father, we bless your name. What a joy to be in your presence again. Thank you for the great and mighty things you've been doing on this platform. We thank you for every life on this broadcast today. We return the glory, honor, adoration, and praises to you. We say, Lord, be magnified in the name of Jesus Christ. I release myself to you this hour. Take over my tongue and my lips. Cause me to speak as your echo and to minister with the ability that you give in the name of Jesus Christ. Let utterance be given to me. Cause everyone to hear me speak in their own language. I ask that you remember the covenant that you honor your word, that you cause your name to be glorified. Thank you, everlasting Father. In Jesus' name, amen. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Wherever you are on planet Earth, you are welcome to Church on the Waves. God will do you good today. The Bible says, pray for us, brethren, that the word of God will have free course and be glorified among the people. I believe God today that the word of the Lord flowing through my mouth by his grace will have free course. In the mighty name of Jesus, the word of God will come like a bulldozer. Nothing will be able to stand in his way. In the name of Jesus Christ, the word of God will have free course and will be glorified in your life. Will be glorified in your situation. Will be glorified in your circumstance. Will be glorified concerning that challenge you are going through. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. No longer slaves to fear. Yes, you split the sea so I could walk right through it. My fears are drowned in perfect love. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You rescued me so I could stand and sing because I'm now a child of God. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Can we sing it together with better music? You can sit so I can walk right through it. My fears are drowned in perfect love. You rescued me so I could stand and sing. I am a child of God. Hallelujah. Awesome song by Better Music. I am a child of God. I'm no longer a slave to fear. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. So bless the name of the Lord. Great and mighty things he has done. Remember on this series, we have been looking at the wonders of his presence. 
we have looked at the first section of it that talks about what happens when God goes before you. And then we've also looked at the second section that talks about what happens when God goes with you. We started at the last broadcast with the third section, what happens when God comes behind you. I gave you a picture of a mother who has seen his child, either his son or a daughter, beaten up by another child, maybe by a bully, and then maybe inflicted injuries on that child. And the mother says, who did this to you? And it mentions the name of the child and says, take me to the house. Let me go and see him. And then your mother is coming behind you. When your mother is coming behind you, there is a confidence you develop. There is a boldness you develop. And the bully begins to fear. He begins to shiver when he sees your mother coming behind you. He knows he's in trouble because that your mother could either beat him up also or report him to his parents and it means there's trouble for him hallelujah i pray for someone today god is coming behind you god is coming as your defense all your adversaries that have beaten you up before they begin to shiver they begin to quiver they begin to shake in the mighty name of jesus christ at the last broadcast i read to you psalm 18 verse 2 hallelujah glory to god i just feel like reading it again just one verse of scripture but fully loaded psalm 18 verse 2 hallelujah he said the lord is my rock the lord is my defense hallelujah he said the lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer my god my strength in whom will i trust my buckler and the horn of my salvation and my eye tower nine things or some things about god can we take that declaration together and say to god god you are my rock in the name of jesus you are my fortress you are my deliverer you are my god you are my strength you are the god in whom i will trust you are my buckler you are the horn of my salvation and you are my eye tower that will be god to you for the rest of your life from now in the mighty name of jesus christ this is the amazing things when god is your defense remember we talked about the football team when they have a solid defense we have seen football teams win competitions because they have a solid defense when you can't score against them at worst it will be a draw and then it will end up in penalty and if they have a very solid defense, that means they may, might likely also have a very good goalkeeper. And that means they may win the penalty shootout eventually. When you have a defense, when you have a strong defense, you don't lose battles. I pray for you from now, you will not lose again. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I shared something also with you at the last broadcast, Joel chapter 2, talking about that army. The Bible says a fire devoured before them, and behind them a flame burned. Hallelujah. It's the army of God. Joel chapter 2. God was describing his army. He said, Sound an alarm on my holy mountain. He said, Blow the trumpet, gather my people together. Then he began to describe that army. Hallelujah. And one of the descriptions of that army is in Joel chapter 2, verse 3. He said, A fire devoured before them and behind them a flame bonnet our god is a consuming fire deuteronomy chapter 4 verse 24 says so he said our god is a consuming fire is also a jealous god hallelujah glory to god hebrews chapter 12 verse 29 also says it that our god is a consuming fire hallelujah glory to god god is a consuming fire so when it comes behind you it comes behind you like a flame of fire the bible says concerning that army to which i belong and i want to believe you also belong to that army the bible says before them a fire devoured behind them a flame bonnet that means you can't attack them from the front neither can you dare them from behind i pray for someone from today no enemy will be able to attack you from any direction in the name of jesus remember the entire army of god uh, armor of god sorry in ephesians chapter 6 talking about the armor of god remember there's no armor for the back but god 
is your cover for the back. The Bible says that before them, a fire devoured. Talking about that honey. And behind them, there's another burning flame of fire. Remember, our God is a consuming fire. So when God comes behind you, he has already gone before you as, as a burning fire. And then he comes behind you as a flame of fire. That means no devil can attack you. Whether from the front or from behind. No devil can attack you. They can't attack your finances. They can't get your health. They can't get, you know, your business. They can't get your career. They can't get your children. That was what happened to Job. The devil himself confessed concerning Job. One of the portions of the Bible where the devil spoke the truth. Remember, God regarded the devil as the father of all liars. You know, the Bible says, the devil confessed concerning Job. He said, does Job fear you for nothing? Is it not because you have built an edge round about him? And round about all, not some, all that he has on every side. He said, you have even blessed the work of his heart and his substance is increased in the land. I pray for you from now. God will build his edge of fire round about you. God said concerning the Israelites, he said, I will be unto her a wall of fire round about. The reward round about actually didn't come from men. It came first from the gospel, from the word of God. He said, I will build an edge of fire a wall of fire round about him and round about all that he has on every side he said to the children of israel be a wall of fire round about her and the glory in the midst of her i pray for you from now as i'm praying for you and pray for myself also god will be for us a wall of fire round about and round about all that we have on every side our health our finances our career our business businesses, our ministries, everything that concerns us, the devil could not touch one. And when God removed that edge, you saw what happened. Immediately, a, an evil wind came, blew and killed all his children. You know, 10 children in one day, all the asses, all the sheep, all the camels were destroyed. His business came down, reputation came down, his body was afflicted with boils. That was a proof that there was a wall of fire round about Job. That is why the devil said, I can't attack him from any side. You have built an edge round about him, around about all that he has on every side. I pray for someone from now. God will surround you like a wall of fire in the mighty name of Jesus on every side no devil will be able to attack you from any side in the mighty name of Jesus Christ wall of fire I, I'm so excited about that revelation a wall of fire around about you that hammy before them a fire bonnet behind them a flame bonnet before them a fire devoured behind them a flame bonnet it. I pray for you from now. God's flame of fire will be burning behind you. God's fire will be burning before you. No devil will be able to attack you from any side. God's fire will be burning round about you and round about all that you have on every side in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That is the wonder that happens when God comes behind you as a flame of fire. I'll round up on this series, this third section, with an other awesome passage of scripture, Exodus chapter 14. I'll try to read slowly so that you can flow with me. And I'll try to read the entire passage, Exodus chapter 14. Hallelujah. Glory to God talks about the deliverance of the children of Israel when they got to the Red Sea and Pharaoh's army was coming from behind them. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. This is Moses speaking to them. Hallelujah. Let me read from uh, let me read from verse 15 there about or 14. Hallelujah. That is why I took that opening song, No Longer Slaves to Fear. Exodus chapter 14 from verse 13. And Moses said unto the people, Fear ye not. Hallelujah. God has a message for someone today. Remember even the word on the go for this week. 
talks about you not being afraid because God has redeemed you. He said, when you pass through the fire, I'll be there. He said, when you pass through the rivers, it will not overflow you. You will come out promoted. You will come out like gold. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God, speaking through Moses, said to the children of Israel, and Moses said unto the people, Fear ye not. Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will show you today. For the Egyptians whom you have seen today, you shall see them again no more forever. I pray for someone under the sound of my voice. That battle that is raging at the moment, that challenge that is facing you at the moment, you will see them again no more forever. In the mighty name of Jesus, only be not afraid. Fear not. Remember even when the daughter of that man died, you know, and they came to tell him, don't bother the master again. Jesus was about to follow him to his house. He said, don't bother the master again. The child is dead. Jesus turned quickly to the man. He said, what? Fear not. Only believe. Fear not. Only believe. Fear not. Because fear gives access to the devil. Fear is an application letter for the devil to have legal rights to enter into a man or a woman's life. When you fear anything, then you have given the devil access. Remember Job said, the things which I greatly feared have come upon me. Fear is a number one weapon of the devil. He uses it to gain access. Once you're afraid, it's like writing an application letter and say, dear devil, you can walk in my life now. You can come into my life and do whatever you like. That is what happens when you fear. So Moses said to the children of Israel, Fear you not, stand still today. See the salvation of the Lord your God. That challenge that you see today, you shall see it again no more forever. Not today alone, no more forever. That will be your testimony in the name of Jesus. God is giving you permanent victory. The enemy will not be able to rear his head again in your life in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Verse 14, God is speaking to someone. The Lord shall fight for you. Hallelujah. The Lord shall fight for you and you shall hold your peace. And the Lord said unto Moses, why are you crying unto me? Speak to the children of Israel to go forward. I want you to not forget what we are talking about the wonders of his presence what happens when god comes behind you god has given them a promise these egyptians that you see today you will see them no more forever god will fight for you you will hold your peace watch out how god does that then god told them face the red sea tell my people to go forward why are you crying out to me and then moses and the children of israel must have been wondering how are we going to cross the red sea but the bible says but lift up thy rod verse 16 and stretch out thy hand over the sea and divide it and the children of israel shall go on dry ground through the midst of the sea verse 17 and i behold i will harden the heart of the egyptians they will follow after you then i will destroy them and i will get praise for myself you know but verse 18 is where i'm going to verse 18 to 20 especially the bible says that the egyptians shall know that i'm the lord when i've gotten me honor upon pharaoh upon his chariots and upon his horsemen that challenge you are going through right now will turn to you for a testimony in the mighty name of jesus christ i love what brother paul said he said and i know that it shall turn to me for a testimony through the supply of your prayers it shall turn to me for a testimony can somebody say that this battle i'm going through it shall turn to me for a testimony in the name of jesus those were what some scriptures i came across very early in life and it stuck to me no matter what i was going through i always told myself it shall turn to me for a testimony hallelujah maybe we'll take that scripture one day on word on the go it shall turn to me for a testimony that shall be your testimony in the name of jesus christ so god has promised them the egyptians you see today you shall see them again no more forever i will fight for you you will hold your peace god said i will get honor from pharaoh i will get honor from that battle and that challenge of your life i will get honor from that problem even if you call it a problem there's always a solution to every problem hallelujah glory to god so how was god going to do it look at how god did it from verse 19 exodus chapter 14 from verse 19 the bible says when god was going to fulfill what he said that from today 
that problem you see you will see it again no more forever how will god do it and how did god do it for the children of israel the bible says and the angel of god listen closely and the angel of god which went before the camp of israel before that time that angel was going before them was going in front of them the bible says the angel that went before them removed moved and went behind them <laughs> on this broadcast today this is what god is doing for someone I'm putting myself in line for this also. God's angel, God's warrior angels are moving to your back. Remember, we are looking at section three. What happens when God comes behind you? The Bible says the angel removed from before them and went behind them. And the pillar of the cloud went from before their face and stood behind them. Then what happened? Verse 20. And it came between the camp of the Egyptians and the camp of Israel. From today, I see God coming behind you. He will intervene between you and your adversaries. He will intervene between you and your persecutors. He will intervene between you and them that are seeking to oppress your life, to keep you in bondage, to keep you in captivity. The Bible says the angel of the Lord removed from front, going in front of them and went and stood before the camp of Israel and before the camp of Egypt. And then what happened? The Bible says, and it was a cloud and darkness to them, that is to the camp of Egypt, but it gave light by night to the other camp, which is the camp of Israel, so that one camp did not come near the other one all through the night. When that angel moved and moved between Israel and Egypt, it became darkness and cloud to Egypt, so they couldn't move. Oh, it's night. We can't make any move again. Then they stood there. Whereas on the other side, it was giving light to the children of Israel. So the children of Israel were advancing when their enemies were kept stagnated. I pray for someone from today. When God goes behind you, he puts your enemies in darkness. He puts them in stagnation. He demobilizes them. Whereas, he gives you speed. He gives you progress. He makes you to advance. I pray for you from now. God will go between you and your adversaries. God will go behind you to start between you and everything persecuting your life. Everything pursuing your life and destiny. God will stand between you and them. And God will put them in derision. God will put them in total darkness. God will put them in total stagnation. They will not be able to make any move towards you anymore. They will not be able to make any attack towards you anymore. They will not be able to make any advancement towards you anymore. Why they are stagnated, God will be to you light. You will begin to make progress. You will gain speed. You will advance in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Awesome, two-edged, two-sided God. When he went behind Israel, it became darkness to the adversaries. They could not make progress. They could not do anything because it was darkness. It was dark. They couldn't make any advancement. Whereas for the children of Israel, it was light. It was advancing them. No the wonder the Bible says later, it was God who advanced Moses and Joshua. I pray for someone today. God will move you forward. God will advance you. God will take you higher. God will lift you higher. God will promote you. And as he's doing that, he's deafening your enemies. He's blinding your enemies. He's rendering them immobile. In the name of Jesus Christ, every challenge that's been pursuing you, either to from this broadcast today, because God is coming behind you, because he has moved to your back, and it's between you and those who are pursuing you, from today, in the name of Jesus, I decree that challenge you will see it again no more forever. In the mighty name of Jesus, it is turning to you for a testimony. In the name of Jesus, remember the scriptures cannot be broken. Rather, it is that challenge that we have to submit. These are part of the wonders of his presence. So when he goes behind you, you enjoy supernatural victory. Eventually, what happened? It demobilized the chariot of the, of the armies of Egypt. The Bible says in verse 24, and it came to pass that in the morning watch, the Lord looked upon the host of the Egyptians 
through the pillar of fire and of cloud and trouble the host of the Egyptians. From today, God will trouble your enemies in the name of Jesus and took up their chariot wheels that they drove them heavily. So the Egyptians said, let us flee from the face of Israel for the Lord fight for them. When God says, I will fight for you and you will hold your peace, what it means is that I will go behind you. I will go to your back and go and disturb, go and destroy, go and trouble the enemies that are pursuing you. While you are advancing, I will be troubling them. The children of Israel went through the river Red Sea. They went through the Red Sea on dry ground but the children of Egypt were trying to pursue after them to follow same the Bible says that God troubled them God removed their will then once again it demobilized them I pray for some once again what we do God will demobilize your enemies in the name of Jesus Christ the Bible says and the Lord said unto Moses stretch out your hand again and the rest it came back and drowned Egypt and Pharaoh and all his armies and the Bible says in verse 28 and the waters returned Exodus 14 verse 28 and the waters returned and covered the chariots and the horsemen and all the host of Pharaoh that came into the sea after them there remained not much as one of them not one person was spared Pharaoh and his entire army a whole generation of a nation's army were drowned in the Red Sea. I want to believe for the for this for the nation of Egypt for many years after they had no standing army because everybody followed Pharaoh. God made sure they all came along. God made sure everybody came along and they were all drowned. That is why he told them you will see them again no more forever. Before another army will rise to take about 30 to 40 years when the new children have now become adults and they can now form an army. God said you won't see them again forever. I pray for someone from today, the wonders of his presence. God will come behind you and give you permanent victory in the mighty name of Jesus. Permanent victory concerning that situation, concerning that challenge you have been going through. Receive permanent victory. Receive permanent victory. Receive permanent victory in the mighty name of of Jesus. What an awesome God we serve. The wonders of his presence. When he goes before you, amazing things happen. When he goes with you, oh, like Gideon, amazing things happen. And when he comes behind you, he gives you supernatural victory. The kind of victory you couldn't have gotten by fighting by yourself. The kind of victory you couldn't have gotten by defending yourself. God will come behind you from now. Remember, even the English people talk about backbiters. Backbiters. When you come to backbiters, don't turn around to fight them. You can't fight them. They are backbiting because they are at the back. Just ask your God to move behind you. When he goes behind you, he will deal with the backbiters. So is anyone suffering from backbiters out there? You read the message today. Just go and read Exodus 14. Let your God go behind you and deal with the backbiters and you will see them again no more forever i'm so touched by this passage and i want to believe you've also been mightily blessed by it i pray for you from now god will go before you this year 2023 god will go before you god will go with you and god will come behind you you will enjoy supernatural victories total deliverance permanent victory in jesus name Amen. Son is out there. You don't know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Quickly say this prayer after me. Lord Jesus, I want you to be my defense from today. I am tired of living a life of sin. I have surrendered my life to you today. Please forgive my sins and wash me clean with your blood. From today, I believe in my heart and I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior. Thank you, Jesus. Come into my heart. Come into my life from now and be my Lord and Savior forever. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me. In Jesus' name, amen. Congratulations if you said that prayer. You are welcome to the family of God. God will go before you. God will go with you. And God will come behind you. From today, you will be the one fighting your battles for you. You will enjoy supernatural victories 
in the mighty name of jesus christ i want to appreciate everyone that joined this broadcast today it's been an awesome time on this series the wonders of his presence if you missed out on any of our broadcasts you can follow us on all our social media platforms audio mark for the audio learners you know instagram twitter facebook we are everywhere and on youtube at the script ministry you can watch and listen to this message and then the podcast you know platform our channel podcast channel you know will be screening on your screen also you can go to all these places and listen again next broadcast i will be summarizing again for the sake of those women i've missed but i'll just try to do a summary a quick summary of this series as we conclude this series the wonders of his presence that is the theme for the year 2023 so we can never cease to enjoy the wonders of his presence it's just that following that next broadcast then we move into something else that god has laid on my heart to share with you you shouldn't miss any broadcast of church on the waves this year 2023 please share this video with your loved ones share the audio message if you get it with your loved ones let them listen and be blessed let your children also listen you they are not too young to know some of these things thank god i was exposed to some of these things early in life it helped me a lot to have a good foundation of a christian walk with god the lord bless you and keep you the lord cause his face to shine upon you the lord lift up his countenance towards you and may he give you peace on every side join me again on friday as we conclude, I want to believe on that series, What is in a Name. Don't forget, materials are coming from this series. And I'm sure it will bless the world and bless generations to come. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Lord bless you and keep you and perfect all that concerns you. Always remember, I love you so much. God bless you. Bye.